Good morning and welcome to another day in the life vlog. It is about, I don't know, I think it's like 8 a.m. I am in my workout clothes. I have to go for a run today. I'm hoping to do some cooking today. Um, I don't know how much of anything that I have planned is actually going to happen, which if you've been watching my day in the life vlogs, they never turn out the way I want. The good news is, for those of you that watched last week's vlog, I am in such a better place today than I was last week. And that is not to say that tomorrow I won't be in bad shape again or that yesterday I was not in bad shape. <laughs> it's kind of like, welcome to the world of COVID-19. We are all day to day, moment by moment, either doing fantastic or doing horrible or doing somewhere in between. And I'm, I'm a little manic, I'm not gonna lie. Like I have definite periods of everything is gonna to be totally fine, this is under control, and then I have periods of, oh my God, no one knows what they're doing and we're all gonna die. So, hoping today for some balance. Here's where we are. I'm trying to keep on as healthy of a path as I can. And then on the days when I just can't human, I don't. I like wrap myself up like a little burrito and I eat a lot of chocolate and I drink wine and I eat cheese and I just allow myself to kind of not, again, the word wallow is apparently a struggle for me because every time I say it in a video, I'm like, don't say the word wallow. But I, I just kind of feel the need to um, engage in that kind of behavior when I need it. And I will tell you because this is a marathon and not a sprint, that if I lean into that, when I realize that's necessary, I'm finding that the good days are a lot better. So uh, just trying to feel all the feelings, right? Like that's the key to the whole thing. For me, when I don't allow myself to feel the feelings, when I stuff, when I numb, we have a problem. So allowing myself to feel the things, the good things, the bad things, the anxious things, the happy things is really helping me find some balance, if that makes any kind of sense at all. So I'm gonna take you along with me today, whatever may happen, and uh, we shall see how the day progresses. I'm off to a good start. I am drinking my water. This is all filled up. My bed is made, my clothes are on. Um, I'm, I'm just gonna have a good day. Scott is actually home today, although I can never get him to be in the videos, so we'll see if he's, I basically beg him, and it's not like he's too cool for school, he just gets really awkward and embarrassed, which, to be honest, is most people. Like, I think you guys know this, but most people are not weirdos like me who can sit in front of a camera and talk to themselves and be like, you're in the room with me and totally chill. So, I realize, I, I call it my secret superpower. <laughs> that I am bizarre and a little odd and that not everyone shares that. We're trying to do a project that I'm hoping to get completed today of putting up some dowels out on our deck so that we can hang fairy lights out there. And if that works out, I'm gonna be super happy because we've had some such gorgeous weather and I keep wishing that I had some fairy lights out on the deck um, so that we can be out there and not have like that not so great porch light that draws bugs, but a little bit softer light out there. So that might happen. Just for good, a good time will be had by all. That much I know, or not. And I'm glad you're here. <laughs> good morning, Max. Good morning. Would you like to go for your walk? You wanna go for a walk? Okay. Okay, oh, are you gonna come up and tell me how much you wanna do that? Okay, I think we should do it. Are you ready? Let me put some shoes on and we will get out. <laughs> All right, let's go! <gasps> back from our walk. Did we have a good walk? You can get up now. I thought we were going to have a conversation. Are we not? Are we not going to have a conversation? I love you. Such a good boy. What are you doing this morning? What are you doing? This is our mess out here with dowels and things as we're trying to figure out what we're going to do. The goal is to put 
a dowel like in each corner so that we can hang the lanterns that we bought. So we'll see if that works out. I hope that it does. So a lot of you have asked me about um, our dogs and how we got our dogs. We are uh, adopt don't shop people. We have never purchased a dog. We have always rescued our dogs. And uh, we started rescuing Great Pyrenees in maybe, let's see, I think the twins were five when we got our first Great Pier. So that would have been 2004. Um, they are a precious, precious breed, but you really have to know what you are getting into with a Great Pyrenees. It is next level. Um, in fact, I thought about doing a whole video because uh, Max is actually our, let's see, Cedric, Gretchen, Daisy, Max. Max is our fourth Great Pyrenees, uh, and they are, um, you just have to know what you're getting into. We've always worked with adoption agencies that specialize in great peers. In Texas, we worked with an organization called SPIN, Saving Pyrenees in Need. Unfortunately, because they are far more work than most owners realize, they are um, rehomed frequently. But you do have to have a particular kind of yard, you have to have a particular kind of neighborhood, you have to be able to put up with a lot of very loud barking or have a house where you can accommodate putting the dog somewhere when there's a lot of activity in your neighborhood. You guys have heard Max bark in my videos, it is no joke, and I am the first to say that peers are not for everybody. Now, Walter, on the other hand, who I don't know if you can see him. Walter, what are you doing? He's right there. <laughs> um is is a is a mutt and we adore him and we don't know what he is he's some kind of a mix of of some kind of terrier and some other things um he was again a rescue um our vet uh found him in a parking lot of an apartment complex and we have obviously he's the best dog ever uh, but we are mostly big dog people now i don't know if we will ever adopt a, a giant breed dog again although we do adore them we go back and forth like we always say no we're not going to do that again and then we are finding ourselves on the websites for the rescue organization so <laughs> i don't know we, we we kind of are dog rescue people and i really don't see that changing anytime soon sometimes scott and i imagine moving out to property somewhere and being able to have lots of rescue dogs uh, and that would be really fun for us but we also love to travel so there's there's a bit of a conflict there but anyway we love our great peers if you want a whole separate video about owning a great pyrenees uh, put that in the comments below because i would love to do that for you guys walter what are you doing he really likes to be in the videos <laughs> Okay, so what I'm doing now, aside from realizing that that is a complete disaster that I need to deal with, what is going on over there? I don't know. Um, is I am editing a video. I did a unboxing of a suitcase that I bought from Away Travel. And um, I don't know if I should put it up or not, but I bought it during the pandemic. So that means maybe somebody will want to watch it during the pandemic. And um, yeah, it's a really fun bag. But can I show you something? Something weird happened. I'm gonna show you, it's, it's really weird. So you see this, this is a new computer. I got this completely by accident because my husband ordered it and then decided it was more than what he wanted. So I actually sold him my MacBook Air and I bought this MacBook Pro. Now, hold please. You're asking yourself, Jen, why are you selling your husband a computer? Well, here's why. When you have an LLC, it is super important that you keep your personal and your business separate. So for my own accounting, which goes in my ledger, which is for my business books, which are very important for tax purposes, I will literally put down that I sold him my MacBook Air and that I purchased the MacBook Pro and I will show how those proceeds moved in and out of the two accounts. What happened was I love my MacBook Air, in fact, I really love it. It's, you know, it's the gold color. I told him, I'm like, are you sure you're okay with a gold MacBook? He's like, I don't care. He's like that. And um, I really, now that I realize how I use, how I'm using it, I really should have bought the MacBook Pro. Uh, my iMac is amazing, but the processor on that is proving to be a little bit slow. I've been having a lot of frustration when I edit my YouTube videos on my processor. The MacBook Pro is proving to be a champ when it comes to editing. Like I'm freaking out how fast it is and how fast it's processing the files. 
Yesterday's video, I'm not kidding you, I think I was 20 minutes faster just in the time that it took to compress the file, upload the file, and do all of that. So this is my new baby. And I, I'm still not sure how I, how I, totally how I feel about it because I'm one of those people that doesn't like change. Once I start working with something, I wanna stick with what is working for me. But he convinced me that the MacBook Pro is really what I need, so that's what I have now. It feels very dramatic. I don't know. Okay, it is now time to hit the treadmill. I'm gonna do two quick miles and my motivation is we just ordered Chipotle. So I gotta get this done before I can eat my Chipotle. Not because I think we need to earn our food, we don't, but obviously I don't wanna eat Chipotle and then run two miles because that would be bad. is here. Had to get Chipotle today. I don't know why. I was craving Chipotle. I'm so happy. And the delivery driver was super respectful and it got left on the front porch. So it's just perfect. Okay. So as I told you guys this morning, there's our first pole. Scott says it's hokey. I don't think it's hokey because I want to string the fairy lights so that we have beautiful lights out here. If we're going to have to quarantine for God knows how much longer, I want to have pretty lights up. But the funny part is, this was not Scott's idea. This was Will's idea and my idea. And we haven't done anything. We're, we're mad. Scott's doing all of it. That's how these lights make me feel. Honest to goodness. It's like a little bit of Disney in my backyard. So pretty. And it just makes everything out here look so magical. And it's not. I mean, it is. I'm very wow. grateful. It is our yard in the suburbs of North Georgia. And I could not be more grateful. And huge thanks to my husband. Because this project turned out way better than I could have imagined. And I wish the dog would stop barking. But you can't have everything. <laughs> Seriously, oh my gosh, it's so magical. Walter, do you think it's magical? He's down there, I don't know if you guys can even see him. I don't think it is even gonna begin to read how beautiful it is out here, but I am just beyond, beyond. I'm gonna end this day exactly the way I started it. I never did make it out of these clothes, but I did have a really, sorry, Walter's playing with his toy. <laughs> Walter, honey, what are you doing? Are you playing with your toy? I don't, he doesn't quite understand that that is not a little dog toy, that is a big dog toy. <laughs> um, this was a really fun day. We got a lot done, we had a lot of fun. I am obsessed with those fairy lights out on the deck. They are so pretty. And I have Max with me and Walter with me and uh, Scott's downstairs, he'll be up soon. And we are just um, really happy. I think today was really proof that you can have a day during an impossible time and still find a lot of joy in the simple things. So that is my hope for you uh, tonight as I uh, drift off to sleep. I am wishing that on all of you. I am going to pop in the shower because honestly, between the working out and the doing the projects outside, which really I just supervised. 
<laughs> but I definitely could use a shower. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go to bed and I hope whatever you did today that you are finding joy and I cannot wait to see you next time. If you haven't already subscribed, please make sure you do so and hit those bell notifications so you don't miss a thing and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.